Hey guys, Brian Bittler here today with an SGC graded card video. I just got an order that I placed with SGC Grading Company back. Uh, I'm gonna go over it with you. I did not look at the grades uh, on the website, so I have no idea what's coming in this box. Uh, just know that uh, I'm excited. Probably more excited for this box than I am the Super Bowl. I mean, somebody wrote me and said, uh, oh, I knew you were going to pick the Eagles because you had Jerome Brown jersey in the background. I used to be a huge Eagles fan. I used to be a huge Phillies fan. Uh, just uh, being a handicapper takes away your love of any one team, honest to God. I could, all I care about is my plays winning on a daily basis, not picking any certain team. And uh, I did go with the Eagles today in a very slight lean, but uh, I just think they're the better team and you're not really laying that bad of odds. Anyway, this is a sports card video, not a sports pick video. I just wanted to talk about something as I'm looking these cards open. Uh, 20 cards I sent into SGC. Uh, my good friend Kevin Thomas criticized me for using SGC. Why didn't you use PSA? You know, PSA, you do get a little bit more value for your cards with a P PSA uh, grade, but SGC, I sent these cards out. I got them back within like a week, a week's time. That's tremendous for using the economy. And uh, the value is negligible. I mean, you are gonna get a little bit more of PSA, but I like SGC card, uh, graded cases. I like the way they look. So here we go. See it's still sealed. Did not cut the seal. I'm hoping that I don't get a Ron Romanelli where I send a card in and I think it's like a, a nine. I end up getting a, a crappy seven. That would not be good. I know I got a um, 1989 Topps Tiffany Ken Griffey Jr. card. I'm hoping for a good grade. And also some other good stuff. Let's see. Here we go. Excited. I did notice my Richie Ashburn. I think it's a 1959 Topps is on the bottom. I'm just gonna, oh, and then. Okay. Because I don't want to scratch anything. Okay, 20 different cards. I think the 1959, is that a 59? Yeah, my 1959 with Ashburn might be my most important. I got, a Gunnar Henderson, uh, Bowman Chrome Refractor rookie card. I think it's numbered to 150. That's a real important card. I think I spent like about $250 on that card. Oh, all, the, all the prize ones here at the top here. On here. Let's start one. Let's, uh, we're going to waste a lot of time here in this video. Let's get right into it. This is a 19... 61 tops robin roberts card now i believe that this card is a seven let's see what sgc gave me here what did they give you oh a six <laughs> well, that's not a good start here but you know this is for my own personal collection robin roberts here 1961 tops beautiful card let's get into this is my Mike Schmidt uh, rookie card that I pulled from a sportscard.com set break. Now, I think that card looked like a three or so. Uh, poor condition. Let's see what SGC gave me here. Oh, a four. Mike Schmidt rookie card, a four. And this, again, this is for my personal collection. Very good, excellent. Not bad. I'm happy with the four. Okay, what's the next card we're going to look at here? This is another Mike Schmidt card, a 1976 Schmidt. Uh, I believe that this card here is in a seven condition. Let's see what SGC gave me here. Oh, an eight. Not bad, not bad. This is a 1970, 1976 top. So this is my uh, birth year here. Definitely going to go in my collection. An eight. Not bad. Not bad. I, I thought it was a seven, so I'm happy with an eight here. I paid good money for that eight, though. All right. Let's see what we got here. This is a 1982 Mike Schmidt. Again, I believe this is a nine. Let's see what SGC gave me here. Oh, an 8.5, I can see. Definitely one for my personal collection here. I got a Mike Schmidt personal collection. 
All right, another Schmitty card. This is 1983 Tops. So for me, I believe this is a Schmitty card, a nine. Let's see what I got here. Oof, an eight. All right, not bad. I can see it is off right to left. But Mike Schmidt, eight. Part of my Schmitty collection. What do we got here next? This is a Pete Rose 1983 Tops. And again, these aren't super valuable cards. They're just for my personal collection. I believe this Pete Rose, judging from the, the Schmidt eight, I think this Rose should be probably an eight too. Oh, what did we get here? A nine. Not bad, not bad. I like it. Pete Rose, near mint, nine. SGC, pretty card. I'm trying to I'm trying to get a Schmidt collection, a Pete Rose collection, Robin Roberts, uh, Richie Ashburn. Just my favorite uh, cards growing up as a kid. Now this one I got to sell on eBay. Uh, not a fan of the player, not a fan. I, I like baseball cards, not really into football. This is a Larry Fitzgerald E-Tops rookie card. I believe it's a nine. Let's see what SGC gave me here. Ooh, a 9.5. Not, not bad. I like that. Good. SGC, Larry Fitzgerald rookie card. Let me see here. Now, Chris Paul rookie card. I got this to sell. I'm hoping, uh, uh, I'm going to hope for the nine and a half here. Um, so let's see what SGC gave me on this card. Oh, a 10. Awesome. That is awesome. SGC 10. Perfect card. Gem mint. Chris Paul. What could you ask for uh, more than a 10 if you're looking to sell? And that's what I'm doing with the Chris Paul and Larry Fitzgerald. So definitely a good grade here. A 10 in Chris Paul. Let's see what we got next. Kobe Bryant. Another card I got just to sell. Uh, I like Kobe. A Philadelphia guy. Um, great basketball player. But, you know, I'm more into the baseball cards. Uh, this Kobe Bryant card, I'm hoping for a 9 from SGC. Let's see what I got. Ooh, 9.5. This is a nice card of Kobe Bryant. I'm going to be listing that one. And another 2001 E-Tops Kobe Bryant card. Oh, that one got nine and a half. Let's hope for another nine and a half here. I think it's a nine. Let's see what I got. Oh, look at me like a dummy. Gem Mint 10 Kobe Bryant. That's awesome. Very happy with SGC here. Perfect Gem Mint card going up on eBay. So, so far with the cards that I'm selling and I sent them in, because I thought that they would get high grades and I'd be able to sell them for more. It's definitely coming back the way I'd hoped. So let's see what else we can get here. Uh, this is a card from my personal collection. One of my favorite baseball players of all time, Chase Utley, a more modern player. Well, this card's numbered to 25. I think it's a nine. Let's see what SGC gave me, a nine on the Chase Utley Red Refractor, part of my personal collection. Brian Westbrook autograph rookie card. I have two of them. I think they made 130 of them or 180 of them. I'm not sure. But I got one to keep, one to sell. So I'm hoping to get at least nines on both of them. They probably did a nine, nine auto, nine on the grading. Let's see what the first Brian Westbrook brought me. A 10, a perfect gem mint. Oh, wait, wait a second here. The auto is a 10. The card is a nine. So, all right. Brian Westbrook autograph rookie card. Part of my personal collection now we're gonna sell one of these let's hope i at least got the same a, a 10 auto and a nine grade let's see what i got here and it is the same a nine on the card a 10 on the grade i'm gonna list that up on ebay i'm hoping to get probably 100 and uh 125 to 154 so we'll see Ichiro suzuki this one's dedicated to my good buddy ron romanelli i bought one in an sgc nine Set this one in. My man, I'm hoping for a nine and a half. Maybe if I'm lightning strikes, I'll get a 10 on it. On this Ichiro Suzuki rookie card. 2001 E-Tops at 9.5. So it beats out the nine that I bought. Definitely happy with this sucker. A 9.5 Ichiro Suzuki rookie card. That one shot out to Ron Romanelli here. Definitely like this uh, Ichiro card. Uh, let me see. What do we got here? This is a card. Boy, I got this card for my parents for my birthday. I was a little kid. Not a little kid. I guess I was, what, a teenager. But sold it. Got it back now. Not really a fan of Frank Thomas. But let's see how I did on his Leaf Rookie card. I believe it's a 9. Let's see what we got from SGC. That's a 9. Not bad. 
going in my personal collection. It was a cheap card. I think it was $35, uh, $25, $20, 20 to 25. So just a card for my personal collection. Now we got some big, my the bigger cards here. Well, I shouldn't say, let's get one more regular card out of the way. This is a Robin Roberts. Boy, what year Bowman is this? 1953 Bowman? I think it's a, I think it's a solid seven. I remember the other Robin Roberts got me a six. Let's see if I get a seven on this one. Oh, oh my God. Boy, this is like the Romanelli seven. Robin Roberts, four. Oh, not too good. But, you know, it's for my personal collection. And it looks really nice in the case, I believe. It looks nice in the tuxedo. So, you know, I'm not going to sell it anyway. So I'll take it. Robin Roberts in a four. 1954 Bowman. Now they got the gem mints, not the gem mints. Well, I hope they are. This is a Cal Ripken 1986 Topps Tiffany card. I believe it was perfect on the front. Now the back is a little bit off. So I think it's a nine and a half. Let's see what SGC gave me here. Oh my God. <laughs> An eight. Oh, I kind of disagree with that. that you know, look at the centering on that. I think that looks pretty damn good. Maybe a little bit off top to bottom, huh? Oh, I'm disappointed with that one. But I did get some tens. So I guess I can't be too bad off. But boy, I paid up for that Cal Ripken Tiffany card. I think I paid 50. I mean, I don't remember exactly. I know I paid up for this card. All right, well, it's going to go in my Cal Ripken collection. I was hoping to get higher than an A, but... Boy, if my Ken Griffey, I got a Ken Griffey Jr. 1989 Topps traded Tiffany uh, paid up for this card. I think it's a nine. Let's see what I got from SGC. Oh, an eight. Jesus Christ. And they labeled it wrong. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they labeled it a uh, regular Topps Traded as a Topps Traded Tiffany. So uh, that is not good. Not good at all. All right. That was a letdown because it's, it's, not, it's not right. This is a Tiffany card. All right, let's move on. Uh, Richie Ashburn. This is a 1959 Topps open for... I think it's a seven and a half. Let's see what they gave me here. All right, we got a seven and a half in the Richie Ashburn. Not bad. This is a near mint plus Richie Ashburn. I think that's a really nice example of that card. 59 tops. Now the Gunnar Henderson. Boy, if they give me an eight on this one, I'm going to be pissed. So we will see. Gunnar Henderson, rookie card. I think he's up and coming for the Baltimore Orioles, I think you're going to see him break through this season. Let's see what they gave me on the card. A 10 and a 10. Perfect. That's awesome. I got a 10 on the auto, 10 on the card. Perfect card here of Gunnar Henderson. Blue Refractor. I guess that's a way to close out the video. Like I got to say that my biggest disappointment was that 1989 Topps traded Ken Griffey Jr. Tiffany card. Because one, it got graded way below what I thought it was. And then it was mislabeled as a... Uh, regular King Griffey. I wonder if I hit it in wrong. Yeah, it must Maybe it's a user error here. Anyway, guys, thanks for taking the time to watch. Make sure you hit the thumbs up. I'll catch you later with another sports card pick video. More free picks just around the corner.